Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create templates for all of your flat rate services so that you can just automatically pull those into your invoices whenever you need to versus having to type them out as manual line items each and every time. So if you wanna be able to, well, first things first, if you do offer a flat rate fee for anything from your initial consultation to color consults or designer for a day, or even just a flat rate for your overall design fees, then this is how you'll be able to set them up within design files so you can just automatically pull them into your invoices. What you wanna do is you wanna go into your account settings in the top right hand corner. And in your account settings, you're gonna find that there's an option for services at the top. So just click on that. Now your services are gonna be based on your time services. So these will be the ones that you're gonna be tracking with an hourly rate. And then you have your flat rate services over here. I'll talk about the time services in another video. So for now, let's jump into the flat rate design services. Now here, this is where you're gonna be able to add any of those services that you want to offer up to your clients. So you can add a flat rate uh, service right here. And when you do that, you'll see that you have the ability to add an image if you want. You can see that I've done that here with individual icons. You can give the service a name, a description. You can set the price for the service, and you can also decide if this is going to be a taxable service or not. So if you do want to add tax to it, just turn this toggle on and you'll see it'll turn green. If you don't need to add tax to it, just keep it off. And then you can go ahead and save your services. Now when you do that, they're gonna show like this. So you'll see your image that you added. If you chose to include it, you don't have to. You're gonna see the name of the service, the description, the set rate that you applied to it, whether or not it's taxable. Over here, you're gonna be able to edit these services at any time. So if you ever need to make any updates, it's not a problem. And if you need to delete them because you're switching up your business model, you can just go ahead and click the check boxes here and you'll see you have the option to delete any of the services that you've added. Now, once you have these in place, here's how it works if you want to add these to your actual invoices. So let's go into a project. I'm just going to go into this project right here and we'll go straight up into the invoices. I'm going to create a brand new invoice. And when I create a brand new invoice, you'll see down here that you have a few options where you can add products, you can add manual line items, you can add tracked hours. I just don't have any in this project yet. And I can also add a flat rate service. So if I click this option right here, it's gonna show me the flat rate services that I've already uh, created. And then I would just click on the ones that I want to include. Um, so let's just go ahead and we'll add a couple. And then when I add them, they're gonna get pulled right into my invoice and all the information is gonna get pulled along with it. So I can see the image, I can see the name of the actual service, the rate. You can see here that it's not showing as taxable. So this checkbox is not taxed because we made sure to set that up within the actual service when we first set it up in settings. And if you wanna see what that looks like, you can save this as a draft and preview it and you'll see exactly what your client is going to see on the invoice. So they would see something like this. If you do want to include that description that you added to your flat rate service, then we're just gonna exit out of this preview and what you wanna do is you wanna configure your invoice. So up here, you're gonna click on configure and that'll show up all the possible details that you can include for your line items. So you're just gonna turn the toggle on for description. We're gonna save that change. And then you're gonna see that the description field starts to populate into your templates. So, it, sorry, into your invoice templates, I should say. So now that I have this, if I want to see what this looks like on my invoice that I'm going to send out to my client, I'm just going to click save draft and preview and it'll show us what it looks like with those descriptions added in. So that's pretty much it. It's really simple and easy to set up. So if you do have a number of flat rate services that you offer to your clients and you don't want to spend the time to have to manually type in all each of these fields anytime you're sending out an invoice, go ahead, create them as templated options within your account settings and you'll be able to automatically pull those in and really speed up the time it takes for you to create and submit those invoices to your clients. If you do have any questions whatsoever, always reach out to us on the live chat. We are here to help and thanks so much for watching.